Harry, Harry, this is Lord Potato, and this is What If I Was in Naruto, Part 3. So, um, last time that I left off was we went to the Land of Waves. I killed Zabuza and Haku, or Haku got killed by Naruto. And we also killed Gato. Um, I took his head, I showed it to uh, Inari and Tasna, they fainted. Because they never seen a head, and also, uh, wait. So yeah, we defeated them and all that, and we went back to the uh, village, the leaf village, and we got well not a mission. Mostly we were, well we did get a mission, but it was just a small D rank mission again, but Kakashi was super secretive and all that. And told us to actually go somewhere to watch a movie about a princess and cetera. And of course, Naruto got interested in it, but uh, Sasuke and Sasuke also was watching it. They weren't watching in the ceiling. Why I didn't even give a goddamn. I was just like sleeping. Like I didn't care about the movie. Naruto, of course, kind of fell when uh, the princess like almost won the battle and all that. In the movie and all that. Fell down. A person comes. And Sasuke and Sasuke. The same thing happens. It just. I wasn't involved. Because I really didn't care. Even though Naruto is smart. I'm not saying he's uh, dumb. He is smart. He's also determination. He still has this personality. But he's smart. And also he's still uh, goofy. Smiley. And has this personality. And the same thing in Naruto. I really didn't change much, but I just made him smart and also have manners. So, when uh, that happens, and um, of course, we decide to wait somewhere else. We're just waiting at this like place. I'm just sitting on a uh, like box. Sasuke is just like talking about the movie. Naruto's also talking about the movie. Sasuke's also, and um. Sasuke doesn't really brute about things. He's sort of a uh, go lucky kid, sort of, because I made him change that. So, when we were just sitting there and I was kind of closing my eyes, uh, the princess from the movie jump out, like, jump over a fence with her, like, white horse. Naruto, Sasuke, and Sasuke noticed this, and a bunch of other people with black armor just chased her. Sasuke, Naruto, and Sasuke all reacted and chased after. So same thing happens, like the whole Naruto went after and like talked to her and all that. Blah, blah, blah. And the actor just like there and all that. Kakashi unties all like the actors and like the person that was requested to help them and all that. Or request, yeah, to help them. To like protect them. And, um... Kakashi said, I'm sorry. He now looks at Sasuke and Sasuke. Then he wondered where the hell I was and wondered where the hell Naruto was. So, Naruto is still like that whole thing of like, like trying to get the princess and not lose her that much. And um, it works out. Like he managed to find her almost every time for an autograph and all that. And... Naruto found her in the bar and all that. And I also found Naruto. I just like. Observed Naruto. I walked through. Uh, Sasuke and the other guy didn't came. Or uh, Sasuke. They still didn't came. Naruto was complaining to her. And the guy was just standing in the front. Sort of drunk and all that. Sort of. I knew he wasn't drunk. I just like. Opened the door. And. So, the guy was, like, sort of drunk and all that, like, he was walking weird and all that. I, I open the door. I see the guy. The guy just, like, looks at me. I look at him. And he just looks drunk and all that. So, I just thought it would be funny. So, I wanted to really trip him because, yeah, I have very dark humor. But, instead, I just looked at him and just didn't care. Naruto was telling her to stop being so cold and blah, 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 whatever he said again. <laughs> and, um, she just said, stop calling me a princess. People are just blah, blah. 
and like she's not wanting to go here or there and i just walk up to naruto and says hey younger bro i mean i didn't say hey younger bro i say yo little naruto so we have a mission to get a actress i think i heard from kakashi and the actor turned around saw me i'm just like wearing like my sort of i'm sort of just wearing all this and my turquoise scarf and all that and she just looks at me looks back at naruto and looks it back at me and she just says so what are you gonna do i'm not going anywhere kakashi sasuke sasuke and the guy came uh like the actors like body not bodyguard but like personal person like to help her and all that came and all that and she says i'm not going and the guy got very angry screamed at her and of course i wasn't having none of this shit so i just hit her in the back of the neck knocking her out instead of kakashi using the sharingan so of course i just picked her up grabbed her and went to the boat and Naruto was like, you know, that's a little too brutal, uh, older bro. I was like, no, I don't really care. This is taking forever. I can care less. Sasuke, Sasuke, they follow along. And um, Kakashi says, well, that, that's one of my team mates. That's one of my team. And the guy was confused what I just did because I couldn't care less. We get to the boat. I put her on the bed and didn't care. I walked away. So, same things happen. She gets angry. Uh, well, gets angry at the guy. Uh, open the door. Like, open it really wide. And seeing that we are already in the boat. And, um. She gets, like, sort of sad angry. I don't know what kind of motion was that again. But she was, like, sad. And, um. They started the movie and all that. Same things happen. Like, movies just, like. They were doing the movie and all that. And then next day happens. It's a cliff. It's that ice cliff. And I'm just like saying. That's a giant ice cliff. Or not ice cliff. Ice uh, mountain. And uh, everyone just says yeah. And then the actor. Like the director of the movie says. God has blessed us. We can make a movie out of this. And then they start doing it. Of course, Kakashi noticed a ninja. I also noticed a ninja. And the ninjas come out and starts fighting against Team 7. Even us and all that. Of course, uh, when Sasuke uses the fireball to like, melt some of the ice. Um, the actor. Uh, she gets scared and like gets flashbacks and all that. And I really can care less. That buff guy tries to attack me and I blocked his punch. Pull out my lightning sword and slash through his armor. Like he was like, Whoop, this is impossible. I have the strongest armor. Pull out my sword. When I kind of just spin my sword, got uh, putting the blade down from my hand and then stabbing the guy in the heart. Killing the big guy. The girl and the other guy were shocked at the, how the fact that I just killed the big guy easily kill him, him. and so um, the main uh, villain was like not main villain the um, guy that uses the ice well like he used ice well and I saw this and I just said fire saw majestic flame the shore So I use Majestic Flame Destroyer to actually destroy the well easily. Since it's made of ice and my flames are stronger than anyone else. I kind of rival close to moderate but not much. So of course the guy was shocked and Kakashi, Kakashi managed to copy that jutsu. Uses the well again and the island just gets crushed. The ice mountain gets crushed. And of course... um. The, the actor person, whatever, I forgot her, like, ditch name or whatever, like, her not real name, but her name is Ker, uh, Kurayuki, 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 and, um, 
she just explains that we're not going to that island and all that. Well, she doesn't explain. Uh, the guy explains that that's her princess, the non-actual princess. I just ignore everything. Really didn't care. That fight was nothing to me. And I was just like, boring. And Sasuke and Naruto and Sasuke was just amazed that she was a princess and all that. I looked bored out of my mind. I was like, uh, Kakashi. And it's like, so, she is a princess. I see. And she wakes up and um, she explains that we're not going to that place, blah, blah, blah. Naruto's determined to go because that is her home and also the guy that helps her and all that. And also the uh, director is also uh, like determined. She looks at everyone just disgusted. Then looks at me. Me barely even carrying the fall. I'm about to fall asleep. I fell out of my chair. <sighs> and Naruto's like, Daikuraku, what the hell? Elder bro El brother. Oh, you say, Elder brother, what the hell? <laughs> Kakashi's like, Oh my days, he fell asleep. He, I could care less on him. And she was just, she was just confused. Like, Ninjas are supposed to care or something. I'm over here like being God. I can care. God damn less about your freaking emotions. I just want to hurry up with the mission. I could care less. But I already knew what would happen in the movie. Because I watched the movie. And all that. Since yeah. Since I explained that how I got my memories back. When I was four years old and all that. In the Naruto one. Yeah. So, I burning just changed one thing, killing that one fat guy and all that. That big guy, fat guy, whatever, I didn't care. So, of course, we're going in the uh, place and all that. And, um... So, we're in movie, uh, moving vehicles. And, of course, she's in her room... And then she, like, somehow escapes and the director says, Okay, time to do the movie here. And then the, uh, I guess, I forgot what was it called or whatever, uh, comes out and says she escaped and all that. And then Kakashi, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sasuke went to go look for her. But I already found her. Like, I was already right next to her and all that. And she fell down on the snow. Naruto still hasn't found her and all that. But I just landed right next to her. And just said, so why did you run away? I looked at her and I just like stood right above her and said, so why did you run away? And she just looks at me and says, you're that older brother of that young yellow hair kid. I looked at her and said, yeah, I am. Well, I have to take you back to the movie thing, whatever. I don't care. I just want to hurry up with this mission. And she just looks at me and says, do you not care about my safety and all that? And I looked at her and I just says, well, of course, I have to care because this is my mission. But if you really want my truly opinion... No, I could care less, but I don't really care what your emotions, effects, or whatever this place is for you or whatever. So, let's just go already. Get up. And she just says, what happened if I fell down? Aren't you going to pick me up and, like, carry me? And so, I just said, too lazy for that. Naruto came and says, I found you. Wait. Oh, brother, you already found her? Jesus Christ, you're super faster than me. How is that even possible? And I just looked at him. Oh, hello there, little Naruto. I found her, yeah, what? And Naruto said, aren't you going to, like, pick her up and, like, carry her? And I said, why would I do that? She could, she can, like, walk, right? And she, uh, Kurt Yuki is just confused, just dumbfounded with, like, my attitude. And Naruto's over here just like, elder brother, what the fuck? I'm like, fine, if you want me to carry her, okay, I'll carry her. I grabbed her, I put her over my, my back, and just start just walking. Of course, we're in like the cave and just keep walking and all that. 
And I hear like that noise. And I said, hey, Nard, get on my back also. And, well, not get on my back. I was like, hey, Naruto. I was like, hey, Naruto. And Naruto said, what is that noise? And I just grabbed Naruto. I even grabbed uh, Kuryuki and, like, hold her really tight. And I said, Kuryuki, you better hold tight. And Naruto says, wait, what is happening? And I just used lightning chakra on my feet just to run really fast. And get out of the cave, jump out, hide in the snow. And the people already got up and all that. And Kuryuki was like, what the hell was that? And Naruto was like, holy shit, I did not notice. What the fuck was that? Elder brother, what the hell was that? And they're in the, they're laying in the snow, and I'm over here laying down. And I said, Stat, just sit there already. The train kind of comes and all that, and um, Naruto's just like, what the fuck? And the train stops and all that. And, um... So, um, the army still happens and all that, and, uh, Kuroyuki was just looking, Kuroyuki? I think it was Kuroyuki or Kuroyuki. I'm, I'm thinking I'm just saying Kuroyuki, because I'm thinking of the other person from, like, the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Tushikage. No, it's Kuroyuki, I think so. Kuroyuki? Yeah, I think that's her name. And she just... Saw the army almost about to get shot and all that. And I noticed what was going to happen. So, of course, I did something that no one was actually expecting to do. Or expecting me to actually do. I opened my eyes. I woke in my, uh, or using my EMS. And saying, I'm a tassu. <laughs> Lighting up the train on fire on black, black flames. The main villain was like, what the? And the other villain was like, what the black flames? The people that were on the train were just burning up because there's no way to extinguish black flames. And the army was rushing and all that. And so the guys, they were like, damn, we gotta go. So, of course, I didn't manage to burn all the way towards towards the actual main person, the main villain and all that. But my eye was bleeding a lot, bleeding a lot of black blood. Because, of course... I bleed deep. I, I bleed different. I meant to say that. And, um, Naruto says, Elder brother, are you okay? And I just said, Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. It's just a little pain. Not much. And Kuroyuki was just like, What the hell? The army didn't get hurt, and the, what's it called, the character that asked for us to protect was also confused, and the army was also confused. The main villain managed to escape. Of course, it was getting attacked by Sasuke, Sasuke, and Kakashi. And they managed to escape and all that. But all those, like, army and all that, they were safe and all that. And the cows, the, uh, let me say that. The cows, casters, and um the directors, however you say. I don't know much about movies, directing or whatever. Uh, They just saw this and they're recording at the same time. I was like, whoa, hell yeah. This is amazing. I've never seen black flames like those. So Asuke was like, uh, uh, Naruto. Uh, they like said Naruto, Dark Raikou, uh, Kuroyuki, and Kuroyuki was like, see, I knew this was gonna be a filler. You didn't even kill the actual person. And I looked at her and I said, shut the hell up already. And um. When that was happening, uh, she was like talking all this trash and all that, and um, a blimp actually came out of nowhere, and Naruto noticed it, and everyone noticed it, and the uh, the main, well, you know that fat dude that I kind of kill and all that, he couldn't grab her and all that. Instead, it was that one girl that can fly and all that, and went after to grab her. Luckily, I already did a jutsu really fast. It's called darkness jutsu. I mean, darkness teleportation, or not darkness teleportation, hidden the shadows, hidden shadows. So what that allows me to do is go into someone's shadow with darkness. It's similar, it will be kind of, no, 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 Sh yeah, it's like sh uh, hidden shadows. So of course I went in there 
what my darkness uses since darkness is sort of like shadows and all that. Since I have darkness release and all that. And no one actually noticed me doing it. So, of course, I was sweet free. You know, I was just like, where I kind of hid, I hid it under the shadow of uh, Kodoyuki. Um, yeah, the actor. And then Naruto did the whole same thing about like going up there, using shadow clones and getting up there. And Kodoyuki's necklace was fake and all that. And Naruto still got captured and all that. I could have helped and easily killed all of them. But I didn't. I just wanted to see how far this would be going on. So of course she said uh, Kashi Hatuke. And I'm like this bitch is stupid. Oh, okay whatever. And um. So we go back to the prison. Naruto's trying to struggle out of the prison and all that. And I'm just. Still in the shadows of. Uh, Kodoyuki and all that. And Kodoyuki was put in the prison next to Naruto and all that. Or like across from Naruto. And Naruto's like struggling and all that. And he's just like I would never give up. Because that is my ninja way. And uh, because like his lonely past life he was talking about it. And he managed to break out and lay down. And she was like. She just like looked sad and all that sort of. And I came out of the shadows. I was like, so Kuroyuki, you now saw my first hand of my younger brother, what he did. And she was shocked. She scared. She was like, what the hell? Where the hell did you came from? I looked at her and just said, is you don't even know. First of all, I'm a darkness release user. A very rare user. So, of course, I could hide under your darkness, your shadows. I use the shadow juice. Hidden shadows. So, easily could have went in your shadows. Well, anyone know anything? Huh. She was like confused and shocked. And then I explained to her about the story of Naruto. About how his like life wasn't that great. His parents died. And blah blah blah. And she was like shocked. So he really was telling the truth. He felt stupid and dumb about it. And I said, yeah, just don't worry about it. And I saw the bars were made out of lightning. So, of course, me being a lightning user and also could absorb the lightning. I just started absorbing all the lightning and making it sure to be weak enough. So, I just cut through it and all that. And, um, an explosion happens when I was doing all that. So, of course, Kakashi, Sasuke, and Sasuke were going. And the, and the, what's called... The guards came and they saw Naruto being all that. And I just like, since I was absorbing the things that they weren't even looking, I just kicked the gate really hard. And before they even be able to like unlock it and like manage to get in, they get hit by the, what's called, gate. Boat just getting killed easily. And Naruto, he opened his eyes and said, Dark Raku, wait. How the hell did you even get it here? Huh? Jesus Christ, you're fast. And I said, easily. You do forget I am a darkness release user. And Naruto was like, don't fail me. Ah, oh, shit. I'm sorry, old elder brother. I forgot your skills are too good. And then Kuroyuki is confused with the antics with me and Naruto. And she can see how Naruto acts around me and all that. Like he acts super goofy and sort of things like that. Well not goofy but he acts like cool and all that. And like very nice and all that. Towards me and all that. And determination to actually surpass me one time. But my skills are way too far from him. But yeah. And then Kuroyuki was like okay so do we leave and all that. And Naruto's like, yeah, grabs Kuroyuki's hand and starts running out of there. I follow along, and I see a guard, and Naruto was about to fight it until I run up to it, and straight up tried to kick it, and Kakashi managed to dodge, and he was like, wait, hold up, Dark Raccoon, stop trying to kill me. I was like, oh, Kakashi, I definitely noticed it was you, I definitely did not know it was you. 
Kakashi's like sweat drops. He's like, oh, he's gonna try to kill me because I was late. Yeah, so still, I'm still mad with Kakashi being late and the whole thing, but like, trying to explain the mission a lot. And he said, like, fine, whatever. And Kuroyuki, uh, wait, no, Sasuke and Sasuke comes in and Kuroyuki says, okay, everyone, I'll bring you towards an escape. Like, she knows where to go and all that. Of course, I knew this was a lie. So I looked, I kind of just sort of stay behind from all of them. And when they went in, it was sort of a trap. Kuroyuki just decides to give the actual real necklace towards uh, the um, villain. I forgot his name. Dovo, Don, Tin. I can't forget. I think it was Dovanto. I can't remember. So... She just says, I know, I'm a great actor about it. And blah, blah, blah. She was like, oh, there. And I kind of noticed this all in all. I was sort of just hidden in Naruto's uh, shadows and all that. Like, again, because I was just hiding. And um, when that was happening, uh, she tried to stab the main uh, villain again. Uh, they fell down. Naruto says, no, rushes at the, uh, main villain all that. I forgot, Davato, or Divento? I can't remember. Wait, let me search. So his name is Dato, Duto, Dato, uh, Dutu? Oh, Dato, I'm just calling him like that. And when she tries to stab him and all that, didn't work out. Like, Naruto rushes at, because, like, to see if she was okay, then gets like uppercutted by uh, Dato. And um, Naruto just says, You bastard, what are you doing to her? And he just blasts the roof off, carrying her. And Naruto tries to use the uh, what's it called rope and all that. Kakashi, Sasuke, and Sasuke managed to get out, and the uh, villains also got out. And all that. Naruto was flying, he fell down. But before he fell down and actually break his like body and all that, I used some shadow manipulation, some darkness manipulation, to actually break a fall. And Naruto notices, and I got out the darkness. I say, so Naruto, let me see that little seal thing or whatever. And then I just say, I went into Naruto's mindscape and said, hey Karama, what the fuck are you doing? Karama wakes up and he's like, what do you want? Give my bo give my little brother some a uh, freaking chakra. He's like, no. What are you gonna do about it? And I just said, fuck you, fucking nine toes. And he got kind of angry, actually throwing chakra at me. But I got absorbed into the tubes, and then Naruto's little thing broke in an instant. So of course he could use chakra now. And of course, before we like run out, uh, I went back into the darkness and shadows. Because I was too lazy to actually walk. And those people that gave Naruto a lift up and then we ran, we drive all the way towards, um, the, uh, Dabato. Yeah, da Dabato, um, wanted to find the treasure and all that. He opened the key and all that. And, um, Kakashi was going against that one villain, easily killing him. And Sasuke, I mean, uh, yeah, Sasuke and Sasuke. Sasuke activates the Susana, grabbing that person and crushing her. And she managed to actually escape because Sasuke managed to run out of chakra, sort of. And uh, she, her wings were also crushed and like armor. But Sasuke managed to do an earth dragon and just crush that person, killing her. So, also, Kakashi did kill the person on there. So, when Naruto uh, gets there and Dabato just like says, No, so this is what it was? You damn it, I thought this was the treasure. And gets angry and all that. And Naruto says, Do you really think I will let you be anything? Of course, he still has like his little thing that I told him to have it. But it's just a little thing just to hold some chakra on it. But it's just fake and all that. And he gets hit back because of the shadow, uh, what's it called, the blizzard dragon. I forgot about that. 
So, of course, I took the damage. I just got out of my uh, shadows and took the damage. Because I forgot about that. I was thinking of was Narcha just rushing easily beating him up. Because I wasn't expecting Narcha to rush him. I actually rushed him instead of, like, using one of his techniques or something. So, I get hit back into a, one of the uh, walls and just, like, got hurt really bad. Naruto saw this and went in rage. He was like, you bastard. And, um, Dabato kind of used a twin blizzard dragon and attacked Naruto. Naruto managed to roar out of it and, uh, tries to attack again. But I'm going to say Dabato also used more chakra. Like, instead of normal, he decides to create... 40 is shadow, um, shadow blizzard dragons or whatever the hell they were. Blizzard dragons, I think so. Dark blizzard dragons. And hits Naruto into one of the pillars also. I look at Naruto and was shocked. I was angry, annoyed, and my sword, I pull it out. And I just put my face, uh, well, my hand up to my face and got very angry. I was like, you... Bastard! And something happened. A slowly a white particle started winning, going over my face, creating a red mask, a red stripe. Well, no, a turquoise blue striped mask with a yellow eye and black marks and teeth. Of course, it was only a fragment, and I went into my mindscape and saw a hollow version of me. And the hollow version was like, so, I must be you. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Hmm. So, you're finally using your one of your special bloodlines. I am called, your, I am your hollow self. The bloodline you're using right now is called hollification. <laughs> and I was confused. I thought we were in bleach for a second. And he just said, oh, <laughs> This isn't a, a, like, Naruto explore thingy or whatever you actually were expecting. So, of course, you are with other bloodlines. But I can't actually explain. So, help you actually use this power. And, of course, when I was out of my mindscape, I opened my eyes. I activated both my Sharingans. But my Sharingan on my... <clears throat> Right, that had the holification mask was yellow, and my sword that I pulled out, I just said the word from the holification that told me, Bunkai. Of course, it's not a Zanpakuto, but I wanted to go into a black turquoise sword, so full black sword. And I looked at the Vato and I said, You're gonna die, screaming and all that. And he was confused. He was terrified of this pressure and power. Sasuke, Sasuke, and Kakashi that was getting there. And also the crew members that were getting there. They saw this glow energy around me. Of course, it was sort of similar to a spiritual pressure. But there was no spiritual pressure. So, of course, it was chakra. But the chakra that's around me is, I'm going to say, black. <clears throat> Just for a cooler effect. And I said, you bastard shall die. And the Bato was like, you really think I'm going to die? He uses his like shadow, um, not shadow. He's like dark blizzard dragon to attack me. And I slice through it super easily. I go up to him and slice his head off. And he's like, what? No, that, that's impossible. So the uh was come, the actual uh heat generator that was there already turned to spring and then the whole hologram happened and she was actually crying. Kurayuki was finally crying on it. happy that the two uh Naruto and I helped and also everyone else helped. She was hope uh super happy and after that the person, the uh, director says, cut. This is definitely going to hit us the jackpot. I mean, jackpot. Uh, pack. Blah, blah, blah. 
I'm fucking that up. The jackpot. The jackpot. And, um... Then, after a while, Naruto was already hurt. She was like, oh, yeah. Of course, he got healed by the nine toes, but... He wasn't fully healed. And, uh, heat generator was sort of kind of hurt with two pillars kind of being hurt. Because I got crashed into one, and Naruto also crashed into another. But the evil character died, Tabato or something. I mean, Dato. Dato? I think that was his name. So, Kuroyuki, uh, she finally became the princess after a while. And, um, until the very end, Naruto, uh, was just, like, happy for her and all that. Sasuke was also happy with Sasuke and Kakashi. And she was also happy about it. Also, the guard was, uh, what's it called? The person that asked Kakashi for the protection and all that. Was there being happy for her and all that. And she was looking for me around and all that. But I really wasn't caring that much. I finally locked another bloodline called the Holification bloodline. So, of course, I was barely even caring about her that much. And Kuroyuki managed to find me kind of just, like, sitting on some boxes and actually just thinking all that. And she just looked at me and I just, like, looked up and said, so what do you want, princess? And she kind of smiles and says, well, I wanted to say thank you, Daikraiku Uzumaki. Uh, I was like, that's like Kuroyuki Uzumaki Halification. And she was confused. And I just nodded my head. I was like, you can call me Uzumaki, but I was just like, so, so you're finding a princess and I guess you're going to be an actor at the same time. And she was like shocked. She was like, you actually noticed me. Wow. You are someone similar to me, aren't you? I said, no, I'm not. And also, I must say Kuroyuki was, she was a uh, sort of. 14 years, no, not 14 years, oh, I'm gonna say she was 15 years old, kind of two years older than me, and I just said, I guess so, because I never said in the anime or movie that how old she was, so she was 15, and um, did I say 15, 16? I can't remember, 15, I'm gonna just say. And, uh, she just, like, says, well, do you ever want to, I said, no, we're not doing that, because I don't care. And then she says, so you don't want to have dinner with me or not that? I was like, first of all, I didn't tell her I'm younger than you. Wait, I said she was 15, so she's two years, she, yeah, yeah, older than me. And she says, so how old are you? I said, I'm 13. And she says, I'm 15. It's good enough. And I said, yeah, no. And then she just smiles and all that. And tries to really flirt with me, but I'm like, ah, uh, no, thanks. Go annoy Naruto or something. And then she gives me, like, this letter that wasn't actually Sasuke's. Sasuke wasn't the one to give her the letter and all that. Uh, well, Sasuke wasn't the one that got the letter and all that to give to Naruto. So... She gave me the letter and says, this is an autograph for, from me towards your little brother. And I said, really? Hmm. Okay. So I took it and I just said, well, good luck on your princess role and I guess actor role. No, no, I really don't like movies that much. And she just smiles and like said, okay, thanks. And so we go back to the Leaf Village after the uh, whole spring thing. So Naruto was like, yo, I forgot to ask her for a autograph. And I just pull out the letter and say, here you go. And then it shows that one picture that sort of he's like trolling and all that. And Naruto was like, what the fuck? Why couldn't you get a better picture? And I just said, too bad. You got a, you got a, you got an autograph. Don't annoy me. And, uh. Sasuke and Sasuke were just laughing on that. Had Naruto's like little antics with me and all that. Kakashi was also chuckling. So Kakashi then said, I can't believe she's gonna be in that whole paradise, uh, like, what's it called? 
Paradise Mecca or whatever. And he was like kind of telling himself that very quietly so no one else would hear that. And I heard it. And I said, Kakashi, Kakashi, she's 15. You're like 20 or something, right? And Kakashi says, wait, hold up. What you mean? FB? Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Now that it happened. I just grabbed the book. I grab. I managed to just grab the book from uh, Kakashi. And I said, well, at least we got something to burn. Sasuke, Sasuke, Naruto look up. They saw the book that I was holding. Kakashi just like, oh, no, you don't. And I was like, run to the boat. So we all ran to the boat, just rushing really fast through the boat. And, of course, Kakashi was like, no, 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 give me back my book. I need that paradise to make up. No, I haven't finished it. And we're all just running. So we managed to get to the leaf village. And, uh... Yeah, so we did a little time skip, another six hour time skip. We get to the leaf village, and now it's. Wait, I said uh, she was 15. No way. Now we're uh, 14 years old. Well, I'm 14, and they're 13 now. So the team rookie and all that are 13 years old while I'm 14. And now we do. Uh, we go to the leaf village, and there's actually three months. Before the tuning exam happened. So of course. I trained by myself and all that. And um. Kashi does explain all that. So like start training all that. I train with Naruto. But I really don't. Tell him a lot of things. So I'm explaining what happens in those three months. Naruto actually managed to befriend Karama. More than normal. So he can go up to a six tail cloak. Well, going berserk and all that. Um. Wait. Sasuke can manage to use the Susano much stronger. And all that. Well, I'll kind of lose enough chakra. And use the Chidori more effective and all that. Sasuke is using Earth Style and also Genjutsu that she learned from Karnai. But for me, an. For me, yeah, I'm learning how to master my holification, but not all that. I'm also wanting to get a contract, summoning contract, from my dark, my Zapto Dragon, and also Smoke, Smoky Dragon. I forgot what I called them. But yeah, it was the two-headed dragons, the one red and blue, the water and fire, and Zapto to be the darkness and lightning dragon race. So, I just like wanting to get a contract from a Dark Lightning one. And, um, I managed to get one. I also managed to learn how to control my holification and to get in more powerful in stages. Also, I'm also learning how to get darkness and lightning and also fire and water more effective and all that. Water and fire to combine them with steam and both lightning and darkness to combine them to make dark lightning so that's what happened in those three months and now is the tuning exams so Harusen thought it would be a good idea if I go by myself as a one man team and Sasuke and Sasuke goes and Naruto goes as a three man team so that's what Kakashi explains towards us and I just said okay I'll be the one man team and all that and so they are okay with that. So we go. And um, the Rock Lee thing was about to happen until I kind of rushed past and kicked Rock Lee really hard. Smashing him into another room and like really not caring. So we're going to the, uh, what's it called? The uh, room that we got to be. They follow me because they now know where I'm going on. Because I'm a. I can just both Genshin's really easily and all that. But when we get into it, into the room, this is where I'm going to leave it off. Here, I, so yeah. Goodbye, have a nice potato day, potato night, potato sleep, potato, potato. I gotta go to sleep, so yeah, good night.